Over the past weeks, Solace Women's Aid has kept its doors open for women and children who need us. Some women have managed to escape during lockdown as they no longer felt safe at home. Women are coming to us with literally nothing. And we are doing all we can to provide clothes, food, shelter, and the support they need to feel safe and to recover from the trauma of domestic abuse. For two women, there was no choice but to flee. To protect their identity, we have revoiced what has happened to them. But these are their stories. I'm Karen Bryson. I'm an actress. But this isn't a script. This is a true story. My name is Ava and I fled my abusive partner at the beginning of lockdown. I couldn't face another moment with the amount of abuse I was experiencing. I was scared for our lives. I decided I'd rather be homeless. I picked up my baby and left. We were sleeping on the sofa at a friend's house because my boyfriend took all the benefits from my joint account. I couldn't even buy nappies. When my baby got ill and I had no money for medicine. I was so scared. I thought I was gonna to have to go back to him, my abuser. But I knew it wouldn't be safe. <laughs> it was no longer my home. I rang the Solace advice line and they helped me. They put me in a hotel for the night and gave me food and nappies and a change of clothes for both me and my baby. It's the first time I felt safe while sleeping in two years. My name is Zara Janjua and I'm an actress, but this is a true story. I'm Ramin. My husband never let me leave the house except to take the children to school and go to the shops. But he always used to go to work. When lockdown was announced, I was terrified. It meant he'd be at home all the time. I was pregnant and had three other children. I had to call the police because he kept hitting me and I was worried he'd harm my baby. Then his family started threatening me. The council couldn't help. I was told to stay at home, but home wasn't safe. It was the police that helped me talk to Solace. They've helped with an emergency hotel room and found us a refuge space. It's in another part of the country, so we've had to move. I am still scared, but I'm happy we're safe. These are just two of the stories of the hundreds of women and children we've heard from who've nowhere else to turn. We all deserve to feel safe at home. Please donate what you can so that we can build safer lives for women and children in London.